What is up guys, it is Nisho here, and today I wanted to talk about a new archetype that has kind of piqued everyone's eye, and um, you know, if you want to call me a clickbaiter, if you want to call me crazy, you wouldn't be wrong, but I really honestly feel that this is what they'll be, or what it'll be, you know what I'm saying? So this new Magi Bullet archetype, right? It's an archetype where every monster has an effect where you can activate magic bullet spell and trap cards from your hand during either player's turn. And so far, all three of the monsters have either search or draw effects when you activate a, a freaking spell or trap card, you know, based on zone position. So I, I am really honestly thinking that this deck is going to have a lot of potential um, moving forward, especially with the whole zone thing, man. And the fact you can activate them from hand so you can just... Uh, so if you summon out a Magi Bullet monster, like the first one I'm going to talk about, Magic, Magi Bullet Shooter the Kid, right? So, as I just said, its first effect is that you can activate Magi, by, Magi Bullet Spell and Trap Cards from your hand during your player's turn. But second off is that if you, if a Spell or Trap Card is activated in the same column as this card, you can discard one Magi Bullet card and draw two cards. So you put all your, the back row that you care about in different zones. And so, um, just leave the zone under him open. When you normal summon him, and you'll be and, and you'll be good on your opponent's turn. You know what I'm saying? So you could keep a magic bullet spell trap card in your hand, whether it's a quick play or a trap, which is the two <laughs> spell, which is the only two spell cards that we've seen so far, and well, not the spell cards, uh, spell and traps that we've seen so far. And uh, when you activate it during your opponent's turn, if you want, uh, if you have another magic bullet card in your hand, you can drop it to draw two. Um, but you know, if not, then Still, you know, you get to activate it from your hand. And, you know, with cards like Shut Line, where uh, if you... I mean, if, if you're going to play a card like Shut Line in a deck like Magic Bullet, it might be a bit uh, contradicting because they might sense that you're playing more zone-based cards because these Magic Bullet... <laughs> Magic Bullet... Mag Magi Bullets are based on zones. And so... It might not go too well for you, but... Still, um, Shooter the Kid is pretty nice. I think just having draw power in general, I think it's it's pretty it's pretty cool. Um, so next two monsters are uh, what is it? Shooter Casper, and then that one also activates spawn trap from hand. You know that's on all of them, and then. Spell and Trap Cards activate the same column as this card. You activate a Magic Bullet card with a different name from that card from your deck to your hand. So that that applies to your opponent as well. So it's not only you um, getting like if they activate it in the in the zone <laughs> that uh, that Casper is in, then uh, you also get a search for that. So they're they're definitely going to try to avoid that. And because of that, um, you could set a card like Shut Line in a different zone to try to bait your opponent into activating cards in different zones so that although you might not get the search, you could still get the negate. You know what I'm saying? But you know, that's that's a bit gimmicky. And still though, um, it is once per turn, but um, it, it does uh, activate for spell and trap cards, so I guess that is nice. And next we have the boss monster. Fiend Zamiel, light level 8, uh, and you can tribute summon him by tributing one Magic Bullet. Again, he still has the same uh, activation condition for the Spell and Chop cards. And the only real difference is that during your opponent's end phase, you can draw a Magic Bullet for each Spell and Chop card you activated this. Well, draw one card for each Magic Bullet Spell and Chop card you activated this turn while this card is face up. So it's kind of like a Spell Book of Judgment for Magic Bullets, except a little worse because you know you're gonna have to tribute some of them but we've only seen three monsters so far so um it, it's it's not anything substantial i assume that there'll be more um especially with everything that they're giving like six samurais in this set i, I feel like there's going to be a whole lot more uh magi bullets 
Um, so the first quick play spell, the only spell that we've seen right now, is Magi Bullet Never Endorphin. And so pretty much it just doubles the attack of a Magi Bullet, except it can't attack directly. And they, they aren't that strong, but, you know, still doubling the attack, like, they're like 1,600, 1,200. That, that is still a lot, you know, that's going to be like 32 or 24, or even the boss monster is going to go up to 5,000. And you can activate that during either player's turn, <laughs> and, you know, you can save it for, like, the, the damage step just because it changes attack, which is pretty crazy. And the trap card, all it does is just, uh, you can pop a face-up card. But you can only activate one of the trap card per turn. I think you only activate one of the spell as well. So yeah, I mean, think about it. You can activate this from your hand during either player's turn. Um, just pop a card, <laughs> pop a face-up card on the field, and if you activate it in a zone under the magic bullet monster, you're getting some type of search. Or you know, if you control it with the big boss monster, you're gonna get draw cards during the end phase. It definitely isn't a bad deal. So if this deck continues getting support this good, I can definitely. Uh, see why you know it has a small stench of meta on it you know what I'm saying it, it may not be like the big meta deck of next format but it definitely has that that small that small sprinkle that Konami puts on meta decks at first and then eventually we're gonna see it played and it's gonna be like, oh my god like <laughs> this is crazy I hope I hope this isn't like the new meta but it just might be Especially since you won't have to set any of your spell and trap cards. Like, spell and trap card removal has just become bad. You know what I'm saying? It's like, Cosmos and Magic Specters make targeting seem bad. This archetype is going to make spell and trap card removal seem bad. I'm calling it right now. <laughs> but, um, yeah, I, I guess all that's all I have to say for now, man. This was Nisha here, man. Magic Bullets, they, they seem pretty cool. They're all fiends. I don't know what you can exactly do with that yet, but... Um, I'm sure people will think up with something. Anyway, no more rambling. Nice draw. Out.